Good evening to you all. A very warm welcome to Holy Trinity Church for this special service on Advent Sunday. Welcome to those of you who are regulars here, but also anyone who's visiting or worshipping with us for the first time. My name's Patrick and I'm the vicar here and I'm delighted to welcome you. So we begin in the darkness. You'll have noticed there is one candle lit, just the Easter candle, the Paschal candle, which burns. And during our service, the light from that candle will spread through the darkness of the church, symbolizing the light of Christ coming into the darkness of our world. So I hope that you have a candle which will be lit during our first hymn. Uh, please do obviously be careful with that candle. It'll remain lit until we hear the gospel reading. Once the gospel has been proclaimed and we acknowledge Christ's presence in the world, then we'll blow our own candles out after the gospel. I'd like particularly to welcome those who are joining us online. It's good that you can be with us this evening. After our service, do please stay behind. Uh, mulled wine and mince pies will be served at the back of the church. It will be good to share fellowship together as we begin our journey through Advent. Thank you.
It is time for us to wake out of sleep, for deliverance is nearer to us now than it was when we first believed. It is far on in the night, day is near. Let us therefore cast off the deeds of darkness and put on the armour as soldiers of the light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. From the one who is, who was, and who is to come, grace, mercy, and peace be with you. My brothers and sisters, we enter today the solemn season of Advent, in which the church bids us prepare to celebrate the coming of Christ, a coming which we recall in the child of Bethlehem, a coming that we experience in the gift of his spirit, in the bread of the Eucharist, in the joy of human lives that are shared, a coming we wait for when God gathers up all things in Christ. Let us, in this holy season, reflect on the coming of Christ who brings light to the world. Let us leave behind the darkness of sin, walk in the light that shines on our path, and renew within ourselves the hope of glory to which he beckons us. And as we turn towards the light, let us have in our hearts all those who see no light, for whom all is darkness and despair. Let us pray that they too may be illumined by Christ, who is our light. In a dark and disfigured world, we have not held out the light of life. Lord, have mercy. In a hungry and despairing world, we have failed to share our bread. Christ, have mercy. In a cold and loveless world, we have kept the love of God to ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive you your sins and make you holy to serve him in the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray using the words of the Collect for Advent Sunday. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
reading Genesis 1, point 1 to 5. God creates the light. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning, the first day. The night is far gone. The day is near. Let us cast away the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. O Lord God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench. A plea for light. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, 
because he has dealt bountifully with me. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us cast away the works of darkness. Now is the time to awake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. 
for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. The God who forms light and creates darkness. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by your name. For the sake of my servant Jacob and Israel, my chosen, I call you by your name. I surname you, though you do not know me. I am the Lord, and there is no other besides me, there is no God. I arm you, though you do not know me, so that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make wheel and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Shower, O oh heavens, from above, and let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation may spring up, and let it cause righteousness to sprout up also. I, the Lord, have created it. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let, Let us, us cast, cast away, away the works of darkness, of darkness and put, put on, on the armour of light.
Look to the east. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the joy that is coming to you from God. Look, your children are coming, whom you sent away. They are coming, gathered from east and west, at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. Take off the garment of your sorrow and affliction, O Jerusalem, and put on forever the beauty of the glory from God. Put on the robe of the righteousness that comes from God. Put on your head the diadem of the glory of the everlasting, for God will show your splendor everywhere under heaven. For God will give you evermore the name righteous, peace, godly glory. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon thy height, look towards the east, and see your children gathered from west and east at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that God has remembered them. For they went out from you on foot, led away by their enemies, but God will bring them back to you, carried in glory as on a royal throne. For God has ordered that every high mountain and everlasting hills be made low and the valleys filled up to make level ground so that Israel may walk safely in the glory of God. The woods and every fragrant tree have shaded Israel at God's command. For God will lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory with the mercy and righteousness that come from him. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let, Let us, us cast away the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared, in your word is my hope. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope.
You are not in darkness, for you are children of light. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief. For you are all children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. The night is far gone, the day is near. We wait for your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and us your salvation.
The Lord be with you. The night is far gone, the day is near. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
In joyful expectation of his coming to light our way, let us pray to Jesus. Come to your church as Lord and Judge. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your world as King of the nations. Before you, rulers will stand in silence. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to the suffering as Saviour and Comforter. Break into our lives where we struggle with sickness and distress and set us free to serve you forever. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to us as shepherd and guardian of our souls. Give us, with all the faithful departed, a share in your victory over evil and death. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come from heaven, Lord Jesus, with power and great glory. Lift us up to meet you, that with the blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints and angels, we may live and reign with you in your new creation. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming, raise us to share in the joy of your kingdom on earth as in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. Come, O Lord, comfort the soul of your servant. Even so, Lord, come. O Lord Jesus Christ, come at evening time with light, and in the morning with your glory to guide our feet into the way of peace. He who receives our prayers says, Surely I come quickly. I am the root and offspring of David. I am the bright and morning star. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Before we conclude with the blessing and the final voluntary, I'd like to say a very big thank you to all those who've contributed to our service this evening, particularly our Director of Music, Douglas, and Assistant Director, Rebecca, our organist, John, and, of course, to the members of our choir who've sung so wonderfully this evening. Thank you to those who read, to Tony for setting up the lights, and all those who've contributed. And thanks to those who've arranged for the refreshments. I very, hope you, very much hope that you will stay to join with us in those. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.